So that starts to wind itself back up now. And just return it to the charging gods. So temperature is somewhere between 24 and 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Back to these Melrose pole chargers. This is the Amp Up app. And up on the pole there are the two EV charger units. Uh, Melrose installed earlier this year, I think spring it was. One of the questions was, how will these hold up in the winter? But they have had to deal with Massachusetts weather conditions here, which change on a dime. So we'll get plugged in. So I missed the retraction there, unfortunately. As I signed in, it did come down. So we'll see how long the timeout period of this is. See how long it'll just dangle there before it says, okay. You messed up. People were talking about rain and the hail and stuff like that, but these are pretty well protected units. I don't think anything's going to get in there. If that mechanism is still working to dangle these things down and to pull them back up, then that's pretty much all that could go wrong, I would think. Beyond that, they're just the regular L2 charging stations. So. Okay, there we go. So you get an error in the car saying, your session has been cancelled, and that's that. But you can see that one obviously works. Came down, went up, no problem. So let's try the other one, seeing as we have that opportunity. You can see their numbers. MA Melrose 3 and MA Melrose 4 are on the bottom. Oh, the other one is going to come down. Okay. So again, you can see, to extend cable, push switch. That's going up there. And I'm just holding that down. That's feeding me more cable as I need it. Don't need to go too far. It'll give me more and more. No covering, just kind of hangs out in the, in the air there. As you can see with the other one, but that's facing down, so shouldn't get too much gunk in it. And that's it. I mean, you know, uneventful, but as it should be, really. I think, you know, the, the lack of faith in uh, this kind of equipment, although it is relatively new, um, is probably misplaced. You know, they know what they're doing, and they work on these uh, lines, and the utilities had uh, input into this. This is a collaboration project with National Grid. It's really just down to the EV charging component and the mechanism to put these chargers uh, up and down to get the cabling wound out and down to the car. And then you can see I'm kind of in the town center of Melrose here. And then over to the uh, east, there is this Mount Hood golf course, which is where I think they did the press release installation. So that makes uh, about the same sense, I would say this is a, looks like a two and a half hour limit, or at least that's when the session says it's going to uh, disconnect. And uh, that makes sense. It's walkable to town here. You could go and have a meal quite easily, do your shopping, Christmas shopping, as it would be right now. Okay, so I'm going to give the Mount Hood one a look and a try as well. Just make sure we're not in an isolated, well-maintained one here. And we'll get unplugged and see what that says. As you can see, you've got the Two hours, 23 minutes. We've been on seven minutes here. So that's gonna time out and presumably stop charging at that point. But we ain't hanging around to find out. So that starts to wind itself back up now. And just return it to the charging gods. Clang, done. Slightly more wintry scene here, frozen over lake, snow beginning to fall. 
a lot of bare trees. This is the Mount Hood Municipal Golf Course, so a couple of miles down the road from the town centre of Melrose. And uh, you can see, it looks like it'll be the same again, a limit on the parking, no overnight. Yeah. Uh, so this is more intended for stop for a couple of hours to stretch your legs, do some exercise or whatever, and uh, then be on your way. So hopefully this shows up, but either way, we're over here, or we were over here in Melrose Center, and we've zipped over here. You can also enter the station ID manually, but I'll scan the code here again, that's the easiest way. Okay, so again there, easy activation, QR code, it says it places a dollar hold on your uh, credit card whilst it's figuring out the billing, I guess. And then down comes the connector, hold the top of the connector to extend the cable out and plug it in. And then you go off and do whatever these folks are doing. There's a dog walker, runners, cyclists, there's a playground for kids up there on more pleasant days and really no no signs of any kind of winter wear and tear at all. It's obviously early days yet, it's only December so we have another couple of months of uh, the harshest weather to come. So whether these would work in the most adverse conditions, you know, further north, Canada, up in Minnesota, Wisconsin, those kind of areas, I don't know. It would have to be kind of tested. They're maintained by people who know this kind of weather in these locations. So I am pretty confident that they will stand the test of time in the near term, at least. We'll have to see how they hold up long term. Finishing this up should be a case of just plug unplugging. And you can hear the motors going. A little bit of bumping and swinging on that last little bit, but it all looks okay. Everything is still shiny and new. All the signage, you've got the painting electric vehicle spaces, albeit no real guidance until you hit this sign. But it does say parking for electric vehicles only. Should really be charging electric vehicles only, because I could leave this here by that logic and I'm electric vehicle parking but we know what it means so we won't hang around